to come out, so we'll keep a close eye on it. Here's the radar showing you that the rain has now made it to the coast. Cape Hatteras, Elizabeth City, up to Virginia Beach, Salisbury, and Washington, D.C. A few thunderstorms in there. We haven't had a lot of reports of severe weather in the past couple of hours, but certainly some heavy rain, and the, one of the major threats today is going to be flooding once again. The rivers are running high, and the ground is pretty saturated through much of the east, especially in the northeast, and this rain is going to quickly cause some problems. Rain up to Wilkes-Barre and up towards Binghamton. They've had a few thunderstorms today. Syracuse rain, at least I guess we can say it's warm enough so that it is all rain this go around. But uh, no, not so as you go a little further to the west. Wisconsin, Michigan, into Illinois, they're getting some snow. And as I mentioned, down to St. Louis. So some lighter precipitation through here in the low clouds. That'll keep it rather cool. They had temperatures in the mid-70s in Cleveland yesterday. As we get to the weekend, you may be right back in the 30s with the possibility of a little snow to start off your Saturday. Doesn't look so great. We will get rid of this storm system. The next one coming along, very weak. We've had reports of a couple of flakes of snow here and there in Colorado. So we'll watch this one come through, mainly with some clouds. The bigger storm waiting off the coast of the Pacific Northwest, and it looks like that one will swing in. You can see the wound up low here in the Gulf of Alaska, that coming up into Canada. The clouds are already in. So far, really just one report of rain around Quileute, but much more rain expected with this one. Just may take several more hours. So later this afternoon, we'll look for that. And you can see the front should be swinging in. At least uh, by Saturday morning, the rain coming in, probably snow in the higher elevations. Our first storm system just about gone at this point, so that's some good news. Two major storm systems, this one in the northeast moving out, and this one in the west coast, on the west coast bringing in the heavier rain. The one in between, I wouldn't cancel your outdoor plans, but you might keep an eye to the sky, perhaps around Little Rock and up towards St. Louis for some passing showers and maybe a couple of isolated thunderstorms. Should be pretty piddly stuff here with the heaviest precipitation along the west coast, a half inch possible. One once the rain comes in, and the rain has already begun here, and it would not be surprising to see many locations get an inch radar or more of rain, and they've already seen up to two inches in parts of Pennsylvania today, so it's certainly not out of the question. Here we are in Wisconsin and Michigan. More snow expected, several more inches. Lighter snow back through Colorado, where temperatures will drop into the 20s, and we'll see some 20s in the Cascades, and they'll get some snow as well. Temperatures on Saturday only in the 40s. However, you see a nice streak of 70s here. The cool pocket doesn't look like it will last too long. We'll be a little chilly as we move into Saturday morning, but by the weekend, uh, the rest of the end of the weekend, the first part of the work week looks pretty good. Let's check it out. Our weekend outlook is sponsored by Wheaton Worldwide Moving, moving America from sea to shining sea. All righty, back on Saturday now again. A lot of 70s out here. The southeast sunny and cool for this time of year, but a little bit better Saturday than it is today. And then by Sunday, we should start to see temperatures on the rise. Certainly that is the case in Texas. A lot of 80s there. Southwest should see some 90s. We start to see a little bit of a cooling trend here on Sunday. And by Monday, the cool air really rushes in with that next storm system that should drop temperatures into the 30s again in Colorado, at least in the higher elevations. I believe it or not, it looks like it may bring in more snow. Snow exiting along with some rain in the northeast. Here it is, a few passing showers on Saturday. That should fizzle out pretty quickly. Anywhere from St. Simons Island down to St. Augustine, there may be a few showers on Sunday. And then we'll watch this system. Comes in Sunday and really gains some strength Monday and into Tuesday. And once again, we're likely to be talking about severe weather along the Gulf Coast and the lower Mississippi Valley and more snow in the forecast. There, first off the satellite picture, you can see a lot of cloud cover coming in. Uh, no surprise they've had rain. Rain reported in Dublin and Shannon and on over to London as well. Nice day, however, in Paris. Looks like they may have more clouds by tomorrow. And they had sunshine by the cool weather down in Madrid, though. Afternoon high of 60 degrees. Let's go ahead and check out the current temperatures. Now it's late evening, so temperatures are dropping back. And it's 54 in Paris. Still 72, however. Down in Seville, Madrid, not reporting this hour. Take a look at Moscow. The high today was 41 degrees with clear skies, setting up for a very cold night. And the forecast then for midday Saturday, same front bringing some rain from Scandinavia to southern British Isles. High pressure over the Iberian Peninsula, although they still are going to have relatively cool weather for this time of year. Only 50s and 60s and a lot of 40s to the far north. Check the weather for the east, and we've had numerous reports of flooding, and flash flood watches are out for all of these areas shaded in dark green. The latest flood warning coming out of Lancaster County in Pennsylvania, reporting that some cars are stranded due to the high water, and it's an urban and small stream flood warning. So a lot of flooding through this area. The rain should continue through much of the day, and it'll be scattered, scattered lighter rains back into Michigan, Ohio, and Illinois, and there's a little snow in here as well. Meanwhile, in the northwest, so far, Quileute right on the coast in Washington, reporting a little bit of rain, much more rain expected to come in later in the day, and some of that may be heavy, and there is a possibility that we could see some flooding 
in Oregon as well with this one. No severe thunderstorms expected there, but that's certainly a possibility again today. And this area shaded in dark red, and there is a tornado watch in effect until 7 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time, parts of Maryland and Virginia. And it would certainly be likely that we'll see more watches and warnings for this area through this evening. Calming down over the weekend, so hang in there. But we may stick with some snow. We already have two feet on the ground, so could be some, some slippery driving conditions through Wisconsin and Michigan. Sunshine today, but that did help boost temperatures up above the yearly standard, or the, the standard for the date that is, which is 61 degrees. Take a look at our almanac page. We got up to 63 today, so we can't really complain. No precipitation as of yet. We've been waiting for it, and this whole pressure works up to the north and areas just off to our west. All right, here are the regional observations 57 in West Hampton, 61 ice level, a lot of clouds around. If you're seeing any sunshine, count yourself pretty lucky and don't expect it to last. Unfortunately, it looks like a lot of heavy rain just off to our west and that should be coming in. So cloudy skies will turn to showers and even thunderstorms and there is a flash flood watch out. The rivers and streams are running fairly high. Most of the ground and surrounding areas is pretty saturated. So rain can pretty quickly cause some problems. Take a look at the satellite picture of the eastern U.S. It's one big storm system, the air of low pressure working through the Great Lakes and up into Canada. On the back side of it, they're getting snow, so I guess uh, that's one thing we won't have to worry about. They actually have as much as two feet of snow on the ground on the upper peninsula of Michigan, snow all the way down into Illinois, and even St. Louis has seen some snow today. And the low clouds and drizzle are hanging in through the Ohio and Tennessee valleys, but most of the heavier action right along and ahead of the cold front on the east coast. You can see the puffy clouds here. Thunderstorms are anywhere from around Cape Hatteras up through Washington, D.C. to Philadelphia and just to the west of New York City. And the radar will show us exactly where the rain is at the moment. Heavy rain reported this past hour around Allentown, and it's now moving very slowly to the east at about 15 to 20 miles per hour. So it may just take a while longer before we start to see the heavier rain and the thunderstorms, but it does look like some stormy weather for a time clearing out over the weekend. Let's check it out. Here's where the front sits, still back in Pennsylvania. Most of the heavy rain right along and ahead of it. Very slow to move off to the east and out of the picture, but it does look like by tomorrow afternoon, just a few leftover snow or rain showers in northern New England. Maybe a little blustery and cool here, but we should start to see some sunshine once again after a few showers and thunderstorm sunshine today. Well, it does look like stormy weather is going to definitely be on the increase this or on the decrease this weekend. So that's some good news. However, in the northeast for Saturday, it'll still be very windy. South winds at some 20 to 25 miles per hour uh, along the coast of Maine, and then the north to northwest winds uh, around our area of low pressure here. So still very windy, and we're likely to still have a few thunderstorms, especially in northern New England, where it should start to clear in southern New England at least later in the day. So hang out for some sunshine if you can. The sky's clearing back across Ohio, and uh, looks like the snow tapering off pretty quickly here, although you may wake up to a couple flakes around Detroit or even Cleveland. Further to the south, sunshine back in the picture.